Hello there, I'm Nidalee Panda, and as you guys know that I follow my channel, I'm an antinatalist. And a fellow antinatalist had requested of me to talk about adoption. Do I find adoption to be moral? And the answer to that question is yes, I do, because these lives are already in existence. They're already here. They're already suffering life. So they're already also suffering worse because they're in the foster care system. And foster care, from what I've seen from horror stories from people who were, grew up in the foster care system, like my roommate, for example, foster care is a hell. <clears throat> it is a living hell. And it, impound, it compounds suffering onto the child. And if you can think that you can be a good parent figure and you can provide a good life to the child, better life, uh, than anything that would be poverty considered. Like, if you're going to be impoverished, don't give a child, but if you can give them a decent life, a non-poverty life, and you can give them a decent living, you can provide them with plenty of food, plenty of shelter, plenty of love and care and kindness, compassion, discipline, <clears throat> and make sure that they have all the life lessons that they need, and you can talk to them, and that they can talk to you about anything and things like that. Where they can be believed if they have a problem. And they can talk to you if they have a problem. And all this stuff. Where they're comfortable with you and they become the child. Then, yeah, go ahead. Adopt the child. But here's the thing. If you're adopting the child for you, I don't believe it's a good thing. It's amoral. If you're adopting the child for the sake of the child, on the other hand, then that would be moral. There's too many people that adopt children from the foster care system for themselves. So if they have a child that has some sort of mental health problem because the foster care system creates mental health problems, <clears throat> let's be real here, then... You're going to be like, oh, well, this child just isn't up to snuff for me. And then you're going to put the child right back into that system. And you might as well just not be a parent. If you're going to work with the child, adopt the child, and get the child the care and help and love that they need and the support that they need, then, yeah, go ahead and adopt. It's the child's already suffering life. And they're already suffering the hell of the foster care system. And if you can give them the love and care and kindness and support that they need in order to better themselves and in order to be a functioning adult and to have a good childhood for change instead of the shithole that the foster care system is, then go for it. That's completely fine. My issue stands at <clears throat> creating life because I have genetic issues. I have kidney disease that I was born with due to a genetic issue. It was a genetic mutation where I was born with one kidney. That's stage 2 kidney disease. And I have schizophrenia, which people believe is a genetic, uh, genetic factor. One of my brothers, <clears throat> the brother that I don't have disowned, is also a schizophrenic. So I do believe that there is a genetic factor in this because there's two people in my family that I know of in my immediate family that has schizophrenia. And my grandmother has bipolar disorder on my dad's side, my paternal grandfather, my grandmother. She has bipolar disorder, allegedly bipolar disorder. She has schizo though. So I think she had schizophrenia but didn't let it on because she always talked about how God talked to her and things like that. So that sounds schizo to me. <clears throat> uber religious anyway i don't have genetics that i want passed on i think it would be immoral to breed and pass on these genetics it's selfish to be like oh i want a child of my own genes of my own loins fuck that i don't want someone to suffer kidney disease you know how many times i've had gout I've had gout so severe that I've thought about cutting my own fucking legs off. 
that that actually literally seemed like it would be relieving. You know how people view ASMR, and I I know I have an ASMR channel, Noodly Panda Noms, and uh, you know how people will consume ASMR content. They say that it's very soothing, and it's like they can put be put to sleep with this uh, the sounds. Yeah, the idea of having gout and cutting off my own leg just seemed so soothing that it was comforting to think of just cutting the damn thing off. That's how painful gout is. It is one of the most painful things I have ever experienced in my entire life. I have had gout so severe that it was in the toes, the arc of the foot, the ankle, and the knee at the same time. I was hospitalized for days. And they were giving me morphine and uh, Percocets in order to get me to not cry in pain because I was a 10 out of 10 pain. It was hell. I just wanted to cut my fucking leg off. That was that bad. <clears throat> and people were like, oh, well, you, you're selfish because you're not present. You're not wanting to bring children into the world. It's the best thing in the world is to bring in new life. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't want a kid to have to suffer through the crap that I've had to suffer through. I would feel really bad if I had a child of my own genetics and they had a gout flare up. I would feel terrible. I would feel guilty. Why would I want that for my child? I wouldn't. I would rather raise somebody else's child who probably has better genetics than me and go about it that way and give somebody that's already alive a chance at a better life. But again, I don't think I'd be a good father. I don't live above the poverty line. So I don't really think that it would be a good idea to be a parent to begin with. So I don't, I don't think about you know adoption or creating a child through surrogacy or any of that matters i solely think i just would not be a good father so i don't try to get a kid i don't try to adopt i don't try to create a kid i don't donate sperm i don't try, try to become a surrogate father for lesbians or anything of that nature i'm just completely no kids fortunately i'm bisexual so i choose to be gay and this allows me to just cut that completely out. I can still have a sexual uh, lifestyle. I can still have a sex life. And not have to worry about creating a child due to some accident. Or my partner suddenly wanting having wanting to have kids through baby rabies. I can just end up having a normal life without kids and be child free. There's people that are like, oh, well, you're going to have children eventually. You're going to want them. No. I've been told that since I was in my 20s and I'm 39 now and I still don't want kids. And they're like, oh, well, you're going to really want to have a kid one day. No. <laughs> you're going to have kids one day. Just watch. Nope. No, it's not. <laughs> my mom kept trying to get me set up with different women. And I'm like, it's not happening, mom. Stop. <laughs> Anyway, catching the flip side, I have my cash app below if you wanted to give me a donation for a beer. Beer money's cool. 